In this video, I want to introduce geometric sequences. So we've looked at a number of different sequences, uh, types of sequence up until now. We've done uh, quite a lot of focus on arithmetic sequences. Um, so really the second half is looking at geometric sequences. Now arithmetic, you are adding or subtracting the same amount each time. And you had this common difference. With geometric sequences, you're either multiplying or dividing by the same amount each time. So for example, um, you could have something like 3 and then 6 and then 12 and then 24, etc. Okay, so each time I'm multiplying by 2. And this would be a geometric sequence. Alternatively, you could have 100, 50, 25, 12.5, etc. Okay, where in this case I'm dividing by 2. Now you can either see that as dividing by 2 or timesing by a half. Okay, so what we see is that instead of a common difference, we have a common number that we are multiplying by each time. And we refer to this as the common ratio. Because as we start off our sequence, okay, we will start with a first term, okay, which we'll call A again. But now I'm not adding on D each time, I'm multiplying by this number. And this number uh, we will refer to as the common ratio, and we will write it down as R. So the second term will be A times R. And then the third term will be A times R times R. And the fourth term will be A times R times R times R. And so on and so forth. So if this is the first term, that's the second term, that's the third term, that's the fourth term. If I'm going to write down an nth term for this sequence, okay, so un, an nth term, each term has an a in it, so my nth term has to have an a in it, and each term has an r, where the index, the power of the r, is always one less than the uh, position. So we can see that's 3, that's 4, 2, 3, 1, 2, 0, 1. And so we need to be one less than the position. And so this is the nth term of a geometric sequence. Okay? And this is another formula that's given to us in the formula booklet. Uh, and one we need to get used to using.